Hello and welcome back to Chat About It. Don't shout about it with me, Rachel, the Queen of the Woke, as crowned by one of my haters. Now, tell me something. Do you remember these two? Yes, those two that wasted a can of soup that could have fed some children. These two were sentenced to prison after they had thrown this can of soup and caused over $13,000 worth of damage to the frame. Well, around the same sort of time, guess what? It happened again, but this time to two of Vincent van Gogh's paintings. Let's take a look. people in prison demanding an end to the oil and gas, something which is now government policy. After sustained discourse of actions, countless headlines, and the resulting political pressure, you to get arrangements to regard these prisoners of conscience to be on the right side of history. So that's what happened the other day. Oh, and guess what? These two also got off very lightly, breaking not guilty for painting action. Eddie and Paul have been acquitted today after gluing to the frame of a JM. W. Turner's 1809, Thompson's Aeolian Harp, and spraying no new oil on the floor in 2022. The judge ruled the action was proportionate in the face of the climate crisis. In contrast, Phoebe and Anna, Anna are currently in prison for throwing soup on the glass cover of Van Gogh's Sunflowers. Well, you failed to admit that they actually... Um, damaged the frame as well and the frame had to obviously be repaired because of that but you know you know forget that part now i will say i think the judge should have actually reevaluated that because it's still criminal damage no matter what you do gluing yourself to an a frame and and spraying on the floor that's criminal damage why one rule for one group of people and one rule for another group of people now marjorie had some comments over her actions at the national gallery let's check it out Marjorie with Just Stop Oil. Today, myself and my fellow comrades, Humphrey and Cordelia, attended the National Gallery to protest on behalf of Just Stop Oil. This is because our dearest friends, Anna and Phoebe, have been sentenced today for their part in a dirty protest at an art gallery back in 2022. The message from Just Stop Oil is clear. You can lock us up, but you will never stop us from defending this planet. I looked on as dearest Cordelia opened up a tomato soup and lobbed it at Van Gogh's sunflowers, closely followed by dearest comrade Humphrey. He had to lean down a bit further. He's quite tall, is Humphrey. He's very popular in the group. Ah, yes, our Humphrey is quite tall, love. But I was very proud when I saw what they did, and I thought, this gets the message across. They really appreciate it when we show them how much we care about the planet, despite the oh dears and oh no's. Most people were quite supportive. But you know something, there won't be any art galleries left once the planet is dead. So you can get angry, and that's fine, but you will never stop us. The Rossers can chase us down and they can lock us up, but I will never stop. We shall not be moved. Viva la revolution and just stop oil. Well, those two incidences plus other incidences have actually caused the National Gallery to go ahead and do something which they probably did not want to do, which was this. Apparently, this awful security queue for the National Gallery is now permanent. I used to just walk up those steps and in. Just a oil madness means this is the, just the future we are living in. Wonders of no longer living in a high trust society. I couldn't agree more with that. We are no longer 
trusted. And the irony is these paintings are painted with oil paints that were generally sourced from naturally occurring plants and some synthetic products too, but they would have had very little impact on the environment and these paintings last a lifetime. So they do have to be protected. And I guess what they're trying to say is, you know, these are lasting a lifetime. Our planet should also last a lifetime, things like that. But like I said, they have very little impact on the environment. Unlike today, where environmental factors impact the planet a lot and in the wake of the most recent storms they have made it so that no one can actually be trusted. Now I do actually agree with their cause but not with their methods. Their goal is to impact lives because the environment impacts us. They are not chaining themselves to trees, they are using oil produced money to cause as much disruption as possible in return for calling themselves political prisoners, which they're not. <laughs> Now, you know, I'm off on holiday soon, and if I see this, I'll probably just step right over him. The irony of this also is the best sub oil in, in the Mora made with it, and their signs would have been from the noble sacrifice of trees just for their cause. And of course, from some oil as well. On here, we've got parts of the UK underwater in September. It's not even properly autumn or winter. And they've experienced over 100 millimetres of rainfall in 48 hours. That is ridiculous. Travel is disrupted, schools closed and homes destroyed. As long as the extraction and burning of fossil fuels continues, this will only get worse. People across the world are facing floods, famine and wildfires as the impacts of climate breakdown accelerate. Meanwhile, the UK government talks about climate change as a simple thing, straightforward thing. Right now, there are people imprisoned in the UK for standing up against these politicians and these oil barons intent on destroying everything we know and love for profit. We have a moral responsibility to resist this. Hundreds of people will be at Southwark Crown Court this Friday at 12 noon to demand the courts free our political prisoners. Please join us. They're not political prisoners. Just Stop Oil are getting a lot of funding. I think they could actually make the effort of actually buying a better quality microphone and getting rid of some of the, the, the background people that were talking in there. And then that may actually help them to fight the cause a little bit more. I can't really talk because, you know, my standard of video is still not the best. But I have to say, if they work on it, maybe people will actually start listening a bit more. Now, the thing is, I don't actually think we can entirely get rid of fossil fuels and to reduce it would be a very slow process. The courts will not free your prisoners. You go into your protests knowing who is going to go down. You go and do your activism knowing that it's criminal damage. And instead of putting your oil produced money into investments, into saving the environment, and you're, you're putting it into doing things that actually have the adverse effect impacting the environment, environment and getting people to go against you. And once you're done holding your small little tea parties with imported tea and coffee, th this guy thinks the same. Guys, this is definitely going to work. Brilliant. What a brilliant idea. What do you mean just stop oil? All your stuff is made out of oil, you idiots. Your clothes, these jackets, they're all made out of oil. What the hell are you doing here making a nuisance of yourselves? It's a joke! What a joke! What are you doing here? Get out the road! You're wasting everybody's time and petrol! All these guys, their engines are running all the time, wasting more bloody oil, you nutters! What is this made out of? What are your clothes made out of? How did your clothes get here? They got here by oil! What are you doing? This makes no sense at all, Just Stop Oil! You haven't thought about this! If you want to stop oil, you need to stay at home and go and live in a forest. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? How is this going to help anybody? 
other than you getting out all your frustration. Now, people really, truly have had enough of just stop oil, so much so that even someone like Katie Hopkins is is starting to mock what's going on here. Listen to this. Wesida has been sentenced to four years in prison for her part in Just Stop Oil. My daughter is Cressida Gassin. At the age of 22, she was the youngest defendant and she has just been sentenced today to four years in prison. And I want you to know Cressida. Cressida is called Cressida and she's 22. And frankly, that tells you everything you need to know about Cressida. Cressida grew up in the countryside and is one of those nature-loving defendants that you've heard about. She is an extremely talented musician. She worked hard growing up. She's lived with mummy and daddy in London, never paid a bill in her life and never worked a day in her life. And again, that tells you a lot about Cressida. This means she will not be present at her brother's wedding next summer. Because now she will miss her brother's wedding next year. Please light a candle for Cressida. Yes, even outspoken Katie Hopkins is getting frustrated with it. But look at that mother's pride at her daughter being a nature-loving defendant. Now, there's actually nothing wrong with being a nature-loving defendant unless it involves criminal activity. Had I actually gone about being the nature-loving defendant the way that these people go about being the nature defendants that they are and got a criminal record for it, then I would have been belted into the middle of next week. Actually, make that next year actually make it that you probably would never see me again on this channel even at my age I had very strict parents growing up now the actions of these people are that of criminals they're adding to the problem rather than finding ways to resolve it they are not trying to work with the nation they are working against it at the cost of their own freedom my question is does the person that actually fund just stop oil actually fund their activists is legal teams court cases prison sentences all of that too because well you know the taxpayers certainly make sure that they get fed and watered and i don't know how well that's going to go down or does it just use too much oil remember remember zero f's were given by this cameraman at a protest from just stop oil Life has to go on as much as a show, but just stop oil working against us is not actually working our way forwards to a natural, better environment. Let me know what you think. Chat about it. Don't shout about it. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow at 4 p.m. Bye-bye.